Hey, I'm Brian Vance, SportBikeTracker.com, and today we're going to install the RNG Racing Radiator and Oil Cooler Guard on our 2018 BMW S1000RR Corona Apocalypse Edition STG Project Bike. Okay, what do we need to do to install this on our BMW? It may look a little different if you don't have race bodywork, okay? We have Armor Body's race bodywork fitted on the BMW S1000 RR now. In order to install these, I'm gonna need to remove the bodywork to gain good, clear access to both the radiator and the oil cooler, okay? If you have OEM bodywork, your process to remove the bodywork is going to be completely different than ours. For that reason, we're not going to show the removal and reinstallation of the bodywork with this project. With that said, we do have a complete video showing you how to remove and reinstall the OEM bodywork on this 2018 BMW. Please look at the build page on our site or our YouTube channel, find that and use it as a reference. The kit comes complete with everything you need to install. The instructions do include a couple of pictures that you'll find beneficial. With each kit, you're gonna find some pieces of foam, some cable ties, okay? These installs on these radiator and oil cooler guards, it's really a pretty basic process. The most difficult part for sure is gonna be the bodywork. One of the things that we do need to do in order to get the install going is we need to prep the, the guard for installation by installing segments, right? We're gonna cut up this foam pad. Segments of this will be stuck to the back portion of the radiator or the oil cooler guard, just to make sure that we maintain good social distancing. God, I was looking so far to saying that. We have to socially distance the radiator guard and the radiator so they don't come too close to one another and infect each other with the corona apocalypse. Okay, body work is off. The first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna prep this thing to install it. What I wanna do is just real quick, this is just a uh, very light degreaser. This is the Maxima suspension clean. I right, like to use this. I wanna wipe the surface area on the backside of the cooler guards and the radiator guard, where the two-sided tape, I'm sorry, where the foam tape is going to be attached. We wanna make sure it's gonna stick and not just fall off, right? So it can actually serve its purpose. I'm gonna use a razor blade. RNG definitely gives you plenty of uh, foam as well as plenty of cable ties, right? So we're gonna be able to run around this thing and get this all done up. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna put one here, probably just on the edges, okay? And then it'll be ready for install. We're not gonna bore you with watching me cut all these tiny little pieces of foam, but I will show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, here's what I did. I mean, this is, it's nothing fancy, right? But. Uh, they, they gave you a lot of foam, so I used a lot of little foam pieces. They give you a lot of extra cable ties too, which I have to admit is pretty darn nice of them. I've already had this up in position and I have a really good idea of exactly how it wants to go on there. Okay. So we will begin doing just that right now. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to feed this through like so. I'm gonna bring it back through like this. Quality of the guard looks really good. The finish is excellent. If those things are important to you. They did a great job with that. Something I will point out once I get this up there, you, you are going to lose just a little bit of surface area with the, the radiator. I'm going to show you that. And you determine, you know, how you feel about that personally. At the end of the day, it's probably not even going to be a notable difference in performance, but it's something that, you know, you just want to recognize. OK, 
Okay, I've got that fed through like so. And if you look at the radiator, you'll see the area where I'm just passing that through. That is the top of the, like the support brace that crosses for the core. Come on, baby, find the hole. Okay. Kind of let that chill like that for a second. And we'll go over to the other side and do exactly the same thing. You can see over here, you know, I kind of, I move this out of the way, you know, it's just, this is just the overflow jug. I mean, you do what you feel is appropriate there. It's just two fasteners. And I used one of the fasteners to kind of help hold it into position. That's partially to help just give us a, a better sight line here for the video so you guys can have an idea of what I'm actually doing. Why are we installing this? You know what, especially if you're, you're track bike, street bike, either way it's important, but boy, those track tires now, they are so damn sticky, right? That, you know, you get any kind of debris on the track, you know, it could be rock, you know, it could be a fastener, whatever. You know, you get that debris and that front tire, you know, uh, or I'm sorry, the rear tire of a bike in front of you kind of catches that and just throws it up, right? You know, or even your front tire gets it and kind of throws it up in the air. And, and next thing you know, it strikes the core of the oil cooler and or the radiator itself. You know, that's enough to put you out of commission, right? Start spewing, pulling all over the place. Next thing you know, you've created a super slippery situation okay hopefully you've done done the right thing you've got the approved coolant in your bike if you haven't and you're on the track everyone's going to hate you you will have no friends if you spill actual antifreeze on a racetrack possible motor damage and obviously you get an overheat condition i actually know someone a long time ago it, uh, I think it was, I think it was Nelson Ledges. He had a, a situation like that where his radiator was uh, damaged in the middle of a race, and you know, you're not looking at gauges and stuff, right? You're not looking at at uh, trouble lights. You're focused on what you're doing, and uh, he ended up burning up a motor. Kind of a bummer. Okay, once you have both of them, kind of lift this thing into position, if you will. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to the other side, work on that one a little bit. What I wouldn't do is just wrench on one side super hard right out of the gate. And I think take your take your time here. Good. It really kind of fits in there nicely with the contour of the radiator. About there on each side. Draw this one a little tighter. For sure the axis on this side is tighter. Now we need to get a cable tie on the bottom there. Okay, the lowermost one, it is kind of tight. I turn the wheel, this is gonna take away a little bit of your access, but it's gonna give me a whole bunch more room to work with. What I did is I fed the cable tie through one side of the lower mount for the radiator guard. There is a kind of mounting pin that's on the bottom of this radiator that pushes through a rubber grommet 
And what I did is I then fed the cable tie through and around that stud, okay? So that's what this cable tie is grabbing onto. Trying to lift it up into position here. I'm putting a little upward pressure. I cinch that one up. And then we'll take a look at the two uppermost. This one's pretty good already. Come over here to the other side. And that one's pretty much where it needs to be as well. Make sure you trim off any excess that you have. Watch the wires. Obviously, there is the radiator guard. And when I come back, we'll begin working on the oil cooler. Okay, the oil cooler guard. What I think I want to do is I think I'm going to put the cable tie through like that. And then I'm going to run it over the bracket here. Push it through the other hole in the oil cooler guard. You know, once again, if you make a mistake and it doesn't turn out the way you want with the first cable tie, they've given you plenty of extra, which is nice. So if you have an issue, all you have to do is just grab another one. Start over, come over to the other side. Not going to tighten it up all the way. We're going to kind of get it most of the way there. All right, kind of even those two up. It is gonna be really hard to, to have good angles here for you guys, apologize for that in advance, but that just is going to be what it is. Same idea here on the bottom of the oil cooler guard. Just kind of run that through. A little better access here so I can keep the knot portion of the cable tie hidden away. Okay, let's check and make sure everything kind of looks and feels nice and even here. Realistically, these only need to be pulled so tight. You know, you don't want to have them to the point where they, you know, could break. Just enough so they've got the guards held securely. That's all you need. Like so. Everything looks good and even.
trim the tails off. Okay, looks like we're gonna have some extra cable ties for the toolbox. All right, now if you want to come here, Caleb, I just want to show you guys real quick too. The way the edge here, the finished edge, that's rolled over the guard is inside and covering the fence. You know, you're gonna lose just a little bit of surface area on the oil cooler as well as the radiator. End of the day, is it going to impact performance? Probably a lot less on the oil cooler because it looks like it's kind of covering the edges of the tank. You are covering just a few of the fins on the radiator. I, I think it's negligible. I don't think it's really gonna have an impact. It's just something I wanted to point it out. Beyond that, the fit of the product is good. Certainly it's gonna have what it takes to protect the radiator. Okay, there you go. The RG radiator and oil cooler guards are installed on the 2018 BMW S1000RR Corona Apocalypse Edition HES TG project bike. If you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments section of this video. This is a pretty basic thing. I think your biggest challenges are going to be the bodywork removal and reinstallation, especially if you have the OEM plastics on. Once again, we have a complete video that shows you how to remove and reinstall all that to simplify the process for you. Questions, leave them in the comments section. I'm always here to help you get the same result in your project we do from ours.